So this recipe makes a generous six. You can use these ceramic ones if you're a bit nervous about plastic, but I assure you it does work. And I'm just going to put the remainder into this ceramic one and I'll show you what we're going to do next. I like to add just a dusting of cinnamon on the top. You don't have to do this. I don't think it's a traditional part of this recipe. I know it is part of the baked custard. If you have a baked custard, you usually dredge cinnamon on the top. I actually quite like this. I think it works really nicely with the caramel and it's just my little sort of twist on it. Now I've put mine directly onto a rack because I want the steam to go around these and I forgot to tell you. Now if you've got a steam oven like this one, uh, most of the ovens that come out these days have this steam um, cook section on, on, on their oven. If you don't have this oven, basically all you're going to do is put them into a deep tray and you're going to pop them into a, what we call a water bath or a bain-marie. And you're going to bring the water up to about half way inside a deep tray. That's if you don't have a steam oven like this. For those of you who have steam options, this is a great recipe and they come out perfect. They take about oh, 40 minutes um, to cook. So let's get them in. We're going to select um, the steam section on here and it will just come up to steam. And we're going to set this for, I think it's 18. I'll just press that. And basically what this oven does is it injects steam into the cooking process. It doesn't have any dry heat. I think it's just generally just steaming. Not sure if you can see that, but you can, well, you may be able to see it. It's a bit hard to sort of focus in on it, but there's a bit of condensation on the door and that steam now is starting to work and they're just going to go on a gentle cooking process. Now if you don't have a steam oven or a steam option on your oven, you can use what we call a water bath. So you, I would su then suggest you use a ramekin or something ceramic or something oven proof. And then what you want to do is you want to put your ramekins in, boil up a kettle of water and then just pour it into your tray and bring it up about halfway. It becomes a bit of a water bath, a bit of it, and that generates the steam. Okay, they've had about 18 minutes. Let's go take a look and see how they're coming out. Can you see that steam coming out? It's fogged up my camera. <laughs> okay, so I'll wait for the... Go away, steam. So we're going to come in here now and have a look. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get in there. They're still a little bit runny, so we're going to pop them back now, but they're coming along beautifully. And I'm a bit fogged up, so let's close the lid again. Close the door, sorry. And we're going to put it on now for... Make sure we, we uh, go onto the steam cook again. It'll have the steam cook, little steam icon there. And we want to go another 18 minutes. Hit the start button. That's now going to go on for another 18 minutes. Right at the back there, I don't know if you can see, but there's, uh, that's where the steam sort of juts out. It's a bit hard to sort of see. But anyway, if you've got this oven, or you want some recipes for this particular oven, or you're interested to learn about this oven, let me know. And I'll do my best to try and guide you through some of the recipes that I've used for this particular oven. Okay, it's finished the end of its cycle. Let's open it up and you can see the steam coming out. And as you can see, they have set beautifully. They're nice and cooked all the way through. They obviously now will need to cool down before we can turn them out. Here is our caramel all ready to go. I've just given it a gentle press around the edges there because I want it to come out easy. And we're going to tip it onto a plate like so. There we go. So there you go. That's my caramel, creme caramel. Beautiful and smooth custard with that delicious caramel sauce. 
We're going to give it a bit of a taste test now and see what it tastes like. Well, it's now time for a little bit of a taste test on this caramel. You can see that beautiful, let's get a view in there. Can you see that? Here we go. It's beautiful and smooth. Look at that texture. It's like velvet. Falls, falls away there. It's perfectly cooked. You know, that lovely caramel sauce over there. I'm just going to give it a bit of a try. Oh my God. That's heaven. Beautiful velvet texture. That's that half a cup of cream I put in there, I'm sure of it. Normally the recipe calls for just straight milk, but that's delicious. I wanna show you something else in a second, but this is to die for. Now I know, look, there's another, there's a thousand recipes out there like this, but this one is nice. I like it, it's my recipe. Hmm. let me show you something else. So we've made our caramel. We made them in these plastic ones. I should have probably put a bit more water in when I cooled it down because the caramel has actually gone quite hard on the bottom. But what you can do is put this in the microwave and warm it up a little bit and then just pour it over. And that's the beauty of using these particular containers because you can microwave them and, and utilize it. Whereas you can't if you do a, a metal one. I suppose ceramic is okay. But guys, this is a beautiful recipe. Um, give it a try. You can serve this with a little bit of whipped cream. It would be delicious. Mm. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my caramel. You give this a try, please. Let me know how it goes. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let, if you do make this, let me know. I want to see those photos. I want to see any comments that uh, you have about this. And also to if you want to know anything about that steam oven, the LG portable steam, well it's not portable, but it's a bench top oven. If you want to know anything, you're thinking about buying one of those, um, I'm not by any means selling the, the ovens at, uh, at all, but um, I just want to share my experience with that oven. It's, it, there's a ton of recipes that I've done and I want to share those with you. We might go through a few more. Hope yourselves a great week. Until next time, see ya.